Hey everyone, Amo here with more of um, the absolutely disgustingly beautiful experience that is Scorn. I think we're like halfway through the game. I don't actually know. I have no idea because I did not spoil this. I do all of my playthroughs blind. At least as blind as I can manage. Um, where did I have to go? We, we, we just loaded up. Okay, I was okay through here. Cause I just That's right. I turned into here and admire the beauty. And then, okay, we got to go this way. Cool. Got it. I am... Do have to make a confession. Uh, I, oh, okay. I went out to a, a work party with my wife and had maybe uh, one too many uh, beers. So let's see if I can still, my, my intoxicated brain can keep up with the puzzle aspects of Scorn. I hope so. And if not, well, then we'll have a comically long winded episode of this game as a mildly drunk man tries to navigate a very alien world. Which, if I were to navigate such an alien world, I think mildly drunk would probably be the preferred method in which I do it. Do we still have a friend? Do we still have... Yeah, okay, yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got the barnacle, the inflated barnacle boy. That's right, of course. Why would I... How would I forget that? Of course, absolutely. Um, okay, that looks familiar. A lot of tryptophobia things going around. We have the thing for this, right? We can we can like interact with it. Yeah, there we go. We got the remote, the rune, the rune remote. I suppose. We'll just go right up. All right, sure. Presuming this is an elevator. So for the pneumatic gun is, is so uh, uncomfortable to me. Oh. It's all in the basement. Is there, are we not doing anything else up there? Oh, hello. You had a lot of load there, didn't you? Uh, are we not doing anything else up there? Was that just that space just for looks, just for looksies? I would have taken more of a look around up there then. If I knew that was the case, if I knew we weren't going back. Because that felt like a you're not going back kind of loading uh, area. Hope that's not blood. The, so the control menu does state like more weapons like there's a weapon selection hot keys in the control menu which just spoils me there'll be more weapons and possibly need to quickly swap between them which just means things get a little hit dicier but I don't know yet we're now oh hey, hey, hey what's up gross 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 hate it we're not there yet god I love this game oh my goodness the visuals in this game like it's like I'm playing through a series of screenshots. Seriously, I love the visuals on this game. Um, it's been such a long, like almost, maybe just never. Like may, honestly, maybe just never that I I visually liked a game as much as I like Scorn. Because there have been good looking games. So I think so many. I think the thing is, okay, I think so many games go for realism. Like the the trend towards photorealistic presentation has been such a dominant force in gaming and gaming technology for such a long time, and it's never really been something I cared about. I never really cared about having a game that looks real. Um, so Scorn doesn't try to look real. Scorn just tries to look good. It just tries to it has an art style that it's committed to completely, and I think that. Like, that really appeals to me. We're not trying to look photorealistic, although it does have, I mean, like, it looks good. But it's not photorealistic. It's not trying to look photorealistic. It's just trying to look good in its specific style that it's presenting itself in. And that appeals to me very much. And I wish more games would do that. I wish we would have less of a focus on photorealism, because I don't care about photorealism. Straight up, don't give a crap. Um, I have real life. To, if I want to see something photorealistic, I'll look at my, my window. I don't care about games looking photorealistic. I want games to look good, and um, good and real. Looking good and looking real aren't are, are very often not the same thing. It's a lot of a, a goops on these hallways. A little concerning about the goops. Whoa, 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 no, I hate this. I hate this. Me, never mind. Everything, everything good I said about this game, I take back. This is horrific. What is happening? Why is it? Who are you? What are you doing? I hate this. I hate this so much. Now you're gone. Very uncomfortable. Oh, and you're just in the pit. You're just in the. Okay. <laughs> oh, very uncomfortable with it, with that with that Mister there. Yeah, just put the just 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 do it. Just do whatever you gotta do. Just do it. 
Oh, we're twisting the door. There's goops in there. Oh, they get cut. Mmm. Pleasant, pleasant time. I suppose I can just walk down here now, can't I? Does that turn that back? Or does it turn the next one over? I presume it turns the next one over, it does. No, 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 I hate it, please, no. He's, he's part of the, you're part of the thing. No, please, just go away, don't come towards me. Please stop, 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 please go away. That seems aggressive. Do I have to shoot you with the thing? Oh, I hate it. No, no, you're part of the goop scenario, and I gotta shoot you with the thing. Please stop. No, oh my god, please. Go away, 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 go away. What if I just throw over here? He was part of, like, tentacles, and the tentacles are the creatures, and the creatures came to li life. Yeah, like you? Oh, no. Okay, come over here. I'll be with our pneumatic. Okay, try to do your thing. Got to juke. Okay, we're juking. Bam. Alright, do you perish? Please? I feel like I've been hitting you a lot. He's gone. Okay. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. <laughs> so uncomfortable. Uh, that does leak. Okay. All right. All right. So I think what we got to do is we got to go back, turn the this tube there away so we can go through in order to get through that second spot. I guess I could have just left them, right? If I just went through, turned this, it would have been like he wouldn't be able to reach us. Probably would have been okay. Um, I think that sort of creature is so cursed beyond life that it was okay to destroy him. It was it probably a favor. Oh, no, please. Good. Oh, my. Just <laughs> go away. Go. Just go away. Just go away. Go, why do you have little arms? You got little flappy wings or whatever. You're going to try to shoot acid at me, too. It did. Okay. And then you ran away. Like, okay, let's just, let's just... Stop, stop it, please. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to do this. I don't want to have any kind of confrontation with you whatsoever. You're you're gross, and I just want to honestly not be close to you. Um, do I get through here? Okay, I think we got away from it. Excellent. It's like our middle school crush. It's gross, and I don't want to be near it at all. Which is a specific reference for my friends. Because, <laughs> uh, they had, um... I remember in middle school, my friend was had a girl, had a crush on him. He didn't like her, but for some reason, he agreed, agreed to date her anyway. And then he had he asked me to break up with her for him. Um, in the in in the form of a song, which I sung to her. Very obscure. Kids do weird weird things, which you look back upon as an adult, and you're like, wow, I really wish. That as a child, I had developed better, like, emotional ways. Better ways to handle relationships and emotions and stuff. But, of course, you're a child. You don't really have those things. So then you handle them in strange ways that as an adult you can look upon, upon. You can look back upon and think. Identify as very unusual. Oh, it's our friend. What's our friend doing? Yeah, just pull his wrist right out of our intestines. It's, it's cool. Was he mad? What are you mad about? What am I doing wrong? You could help. He's just complaining. All right, nothing. Okay, cool. We got you. Well, I'll just keep dragging you around, I guess. Carrying the team here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, active elevator motion engaged. Th thanks. Thanks for moving me over about approximately uh, 20 feet. There's nothing over here. Mmm. Tasty, though. Uh, nothing on this side. What happens if I hit this button? Really don't want to be going back and forth. Oh, we're moving this. Okay, that gets removed. I bet it does this make friends. This is spawn friends for me. Okay, we dropped the, the pod. The claw has returned. Any friends over here now? 
No? No one of you are getting up? Okay, we might be okay. Are we safe? Good. No new friends. I'm happy with no new friends. I'm happy where I am in my life. I, I think it's now a safe point to make a confession. So, I, oh God, it's a new friend. Oh, oh Lord. Please, no. Go away. I know you're mad. You're gonna spit acid at me or whatever. I can't. Mm, I just don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do this part. Okay, skips. Okay, just go. Away. I have this. Be scared. Go. Run away. Nope, he's going to saunter its way up here. Okay, we'll let it get to the top and then run past it. Uh, now might be a good time to confess. So I was at the party, right? We're talking about I was at a party and my wife's coworkers. Uh, they work in a very large office building with a number of... Get out of here, guy. Go, go. Yeah, they work in the office. <laughs> Did that kill me? I died. I am non-regenerating health. This is a game in 2022. I have non-regenerating health. It, I'm not mad about that. I like having a game that doesn't use a, a consistent game mechanic, like regenerating health, like something we see all the time in games nowadays. But I would, I, I didn't, I don't feel like I had sufficient UI user interface feedback to imply that my health was fixed and required a separate, like healing interaction to avoid uh, dying at that point in the game. Um, presumably we're back at full health. And we'll be okay. I I hope I I hope I guess I suppose we can run by and hit them and try to stop them from shooting us and then run past if we insist on going there. Out. Regardless, what I was trying to say is that so we're at the we're at the office party. Well, this is my wife's office party. I know you got you're mad at my intestines. I get it. Can you just like, it's not helping, dude. Stop yanking on that. That's not healthy. And uh, so I'm drinking, and then we, and then I go to the bathroom, which is outside the office in the hallway. So I go to the bathroom and I walk by a health insurance office, and I'm like, "Health insurance, sir, is terrible." You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some issues. So I go, I <laughs> sneak into the office. I uh, go into one of their meeting rooms, and I take the remote for their TV, and I hide it, and I take one of their staplers, and I think, well, you know provided them some small amount of inconvenience. It's the least I can do towards revolution is to provide a health insurance company inconvenience. Um, there's cameras, of course, in the office, so it's not like I could burn the place down. The, uh, and then I, it wasn't a health insurance company I'm actually familiar with. I looked it up later, and I saw, saw on the internet, it's like, uh, oh, this is actually like a human rights health advocacy organization. I felt really bad, but I did more information. I did more research, and that's just like the international, that's the, uh, organization that bears the international name, the American organization, which is the one that was in the aforementioned office building. They're actually like a ne part of a neoconservative think tank group, so absolutely zero concern. With them. Heck off, heck off, heck off, heck off, heck off, go away, heck off. Um, yeah, so they're just the worst people, so I'm very happy to have messed with them, and uh, it was a very satisfying night then for me to have an opportunity to harass a. Uh, Neoconservative neo health insurance group. Like, heck, they absolutely so glad. I wish I did more. Um, but still happy to have done something. This is okay. We're still over here. We're alive. No, is that you? A bigger one? Stop. Don't pull out. Don't. Don't. This game gets grosser and it gets more like. It gets more tumorous. It gets, it gets girthier. It gets sloppier, not necessarily wetter. I did say it was the wettest game of 2022. It's a very wet experience. Um, maybe not the wettest of 2022. Looks like we're in a large space here. It's less linear. I got a lot of paths to go here, which suggests to me it's a puzzle area, which suggests to me that I'm going to have a heck of a struggle with it, you know, considering my altered state of mind. But we'll do what we can. I didn't drink that much. I just don't really drink that much anymore. Like I don't. I don't frequently drink very much. Not that I ever drank that much, but you know, in your like twenties, you can drink a lot without really being like quotations drinking a lot. Uh, and now that I'm, you know, older, I don't. I don't. I just flat out don't drink very much alcohol. So a handful of beers gets me going pretty easily. So that was a a grab and a drop type action from there so it seems like reminiscent of the first puzzle area where we had to kind of uh, figure out what the machinery did and how it functioned and try to get it to work for us I, I haven't been down here yet have I 
I'll just start to stick your fingers in things, it's fine. This is an elevator. This is an elevator. Okay, good to know. It's an elevator. Wasn't there another panel over here? What are you then? Direction? Oh my goodness. Okay. What do you what's your action then? So you just grab? You just grab and pull. Obviously don't have anything to grab and pull for it. We can't go up, we can't go down, we can only go left, left, left and right. There's nothing for you to grab here. So I will exit this this machinery. So we move up and down on this elevator here and grab things. There's also more over here. What do you do? Oh, you move this thing. Okay, do I actually move you over? Have I actually stumbled upon some sort of step in the right direction? You move over. No. If I go back to the other side and move that thing, the pod or whatever, back, maybe we can do something there. No, let's sprint back over here. I'm a little uncomfortable this moves automatically. I don't think anything else in the game moves automatically. At least nothing that we've come across yet. Okay, so if you're there, and I touch you, you move the thing, the pod, back over to the right, which I can then grab with the elevator arm device. No, you just don't do anything? Are you serious? Come on, do something. Please. No, it's just not okay. It's not, it's broken. Got it, gotcha. It's okay, you can, you can stop. You can stop the animation. I'm not using an Xbox controller, thanks for that though. Okay, so if I go back down, let's try going back down. Let's try going back down. Let's try going back down. Then you grab the arm down here. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. What if I just go to the other side? This is a... This area has some space to it. It has some geometry to it. Ah! Ah! What was the... What was the... What is that? Did I just die? What? <laughs> Wait a Hello? Oh, okay. Okay, sure. I died. I died. I died. I'm, I... Sure. Um... You got me. I can't even... Something on the... On the ceiling, presumably. It, it got me alright. So where am I? What is this? Yeah, you're the grabby boy, and you grab the nothing. We have to try to get something over there to go free to grab. Got it. I need to move there, and you'll get grabbed by that claw or whatever. Gotcha. So I'm going to say, not necessarily that hard of a puzzle. We just have to find the right sequence of inputs. And I realize that's literally just what like a puzzle is. It's not a very profound thing to say. Uh, that we have to find the right series of inputs. This time we hear goopy sounds. Don't stand still. Okay, if I stay here, what do you do? Hate it, hate it. It's like a colony of them. Oh, God. It was one of them crawling on the walls and it spit at me and killed me. Oh, they're like ants, but they're made out of tumors. Oh. I'm absolutely disgusted, but I love it. That's horrible. It's just hard to like ants, because like, um, like, tree ants, like leaf ants, tree ants that produce, um, not tree ants, like the trends. Uh, but the ants that 
produce like living bridges out of their own bodies, the network of their own bodies to cover gaps for other worker bees and such to get across. This is what this reminds me of, but just like a thousand times more disgusting, like a billion times more disgusting. I don't find ants particularly gross, but I find these things very gross. Sure. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Just hit it with the thing and just see you later, nerd. No interest in messing with you. You follow me? It's a stealth game now? It's oh don't tell me you're following me. Don't don't follow me. Do mind your own business. I gotta inflate my barnacle. A fully inflated barnacle now, I think. Right, right. Can I look down? Yep, a fully inflated barnacle. Gross. So our barnacle is fully inflated. Oh, is you? Oh no. Oh no. There's so many of them. Oh no. And there's you. Are you going to spit at me? Oh my god. Oh my god. I hear them. I hear them. Why am I one hit away from death? Why don't I have more health? Why doesn't it refresh my health in between respawns? Just to make this list. Okay. Um, you see, the thing is, I don't really have a gun. It's a melee weapon. Which means I have to get very close to the enemies. Which means they're very vulnerable. Which means they kill me very quickly. So if I want to stop respawning, I guess I do have to fight them and do so without dying. So if I see another one, I suppose I'll just have to enter the arena of Mortal Kombat with it in order to destroy it so that I do not myself get killed and have to respawn and then wonder if the things I did remained in effect or not because like this did I do this already did I not do this okay so I definitely did this last time but then I had to respawn so I don't know what parts of my progress were saved Okay, so I hit him, back up, charge in, hit you, back up. Takes a lot of shots to, to end you. Okay, he, he, he releases juice, his gibbets. Nope, nope, dodge, dodge, dodge. We have to annihilate all of our enemies. So why does it take, so it takes like four pulses? Oof. For one of those looking things. Are we, maybe this is less puzzle. Maybe I'm overthinking this part. Maybe this part isn't so much a puzzle as it is a action sequence. So I was talking about last time how the sequence of events was kind of, was, was linear. Like it wasn't really puzzly, it was pretty linear. So maybe we have another linear-ish sequence, but it's a, it, like an action sequence because there's a lot of threats for us to contend with. That's very possible. So let's try to play it like that and see if that gets us a little more progress. So if that's the case, then I need to go over here and I need to fight you. God, I have I have so I have no health though. I have just literally no health. Okay, okay, back, 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 back. God, we have this is so hard to maneuver! Okay. Mmm, so I have to go back and do that again. Is there any way to heal? I mean, is there a way to heal, I thought? Let's see. I think in the control scheme, I saw a way to heal. I don't know if that requires a... Um, like a... Some sort of med kit type item that we don't have yet. If not, it'd be great to actually be able to use it. So it says... Heal is E. Oh! Oh, you're the heal! Oh! The... Uh, the, the <laughs> hello. So uh, you're the med kit. I thought you were some sort of puzzle. Oh, it's our med. The barnacle inflation is our med kit. Of course. Why would I think different? Why would I think anything else? Obviously, inflating our barnacle tubes, um, being held by the parasitic entity which has its hands on our intestines, is how we restore our own health. Uh, of obviously. Obvious, of course. Like it'd be foolish to have any other impression of how this world works than than that right there. 
Uh, okay, so so we know now that we should be a little bit easier. Okay, how do I, where am I? What do you want from me? Okay, we didn't hit this thing. We're back where we were. So we do know we do know we need to be a little more cautious in our combats because we had just used basically all of our heels. Just the. But also, it seems to be a combat-focused part of the game. Like right here, we're in a combat-focused level. Yeah, I got the drop on you now, huh? What? I don't want to deal with any of that. Okay, he did hit me, actually. Just reload. God, I hate this, this weapon so much. Just, just shoot. Just, just, just please fire. I can't, it's hard to tell when it's ready because the indicator is a white bar on top of a slightly smaller white bar. How am I supposed to know when it's ready to shoot? It's a white bar on top of a different white bar. Why would you have the indicator look like that? That's just bad UI design, to be honest. Uh, I love the rest of the game. Uh, it's not alien to have a white bar on top of a different white bar. It just doesn't make any sense. Please don't do it. Please, why why can't I have a different indicator of when this thing's ready to shoot? Now that I know that's very critical that I actually combat we actually do combat with it. I gotta over here, you gotta fight more things. Okay. So this is a big room, right? It has yeah, it has you and it has this guy over here. <laughs> Yeah, you think you're so tough, huh? Oh, oh, I executed it in a gruesome fa Oh, okay. If I knew we could have done that, I would have done that the whole time. Come over here. Or not. Woo, see you, nerd. Okay, he threw up, and we come back. And we hit you again, we go away. And we come back in. I think it's one more hit. Oh, no, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get past it. Okay, he missed. Oh, we didn't have, we weren't ready to shoot. Okay. Is it ready yet? I think it is ready. <laughs> For, it's just a white line on top of a different white line. And I have to decipher at which part of the white line is ready to go. So, hi, I see you up there, but if you're not gonna bother me, I'm not gonna bother you. Got you once. I think I get you twice. Okay, got you twice. Well, we decided it was four. If it's four shots to kill you, then I can just no. It's more. It's more than four. It's more than four. Take cover. Take cover. Okay. And we got the execution animation. So I guess if you get the kill shot in the right position, it, that's a very long animation. Holy crap. So as we get the animation in the right, or if we get the kill shot in the right spot, it will trigger that, that like, sync kill animation. Which is pretty cool. Stop. Why, what are you? What is this? I have, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this thing so much. I hate this with every fiber of my, my being. Do I have to fight you? I don't want to fight you because I just hate you. I hate that you exist. And every moment that I look at you makes me, like feel a little bit worse off okay still don't like the sounds oh hi he's one of you I know ooh, ooh, ooh. little chicken look a think bag over here oh plug ourselves in with the 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 barnacle a little bit the, the barnacle juice put put nothing there we'll keep on our merry way then that sounds like something who was it so I guess I'm moving this particular elevator element up to get to that other delivery point to grab with the other claw earlier or elsewise in the map I would imagine so. I think that way, anything this way, there's an enemy. 
Hey, got you. Oh god, there's two of them. Oh no. I was not prepared for that. Not prepared to fight. 2v1. Okay, got one. Oh, that nonsense. He didn't hit me with he did not hit me with that. I would just like to voice my objection right now. Okay, one more hit. No. Whoa. Okay, got him. Oh, uh, we just hit that. They came from over here, from the destroyed tendrils, which are composed of their own fleshy substances. Oh, I'll just sprint at full speed out of there. No, okay, sorry. I wouldn't mind a slightly more effective weapon. Why, hello? I can't even reach you. Where am I? Why am I over here? There's nothing to do over here. Why am I over here? Surely I missed a button or something, right? So it came from over there into here, and there's nothing in here. I guess I have to go around the other way. Uh, unless we, we move that, that big elevator part back around, I guess I have to go back that direction to, like, do anything with it. It doesn't let me heal if I don't have enough health to heal with it. Okay, cool. I suppose we must have to go back the other way, right? It's the only direction to go. Gross. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that felt kind of good for some reason. All right, there's you back here. I don't know why you're back here. I'll just give you a couple love taps, and I'll just go my way. So I don't think maybe I do need to be back here. I don't know. I would love this thing would just charge and fire stupid goop go oh, just tear his head off. Very long and and, and and fleshy animation for that. I don't need buttons over here to hit, right? No. Okay. Just jump. Just, just, just jump on it. Gross. Hey, absolutely all of you. So you're already used. So let me use you again. I hope we do need to backtrack. Otherwise, I'm wasting a lot of time here. But I can just enjoy the environments while, while I'm at it, which is which is nice. No, I literally, literally can't go back. I literally am stuck here. Okay, so I need to. I miss, clearly missed something. I missed a bath or I missed an interactable. So I go back. Duh, nothing there. Nothing here. This I've already interacted with. Just let me do so again. I do like that the game doesn't let you waste your time with things that don't do anything. Because I can imagine, especially uh, like older, like older puzzle games, you could 100% just do things that don't do anything. Like you could pursue red herrings all the time, or even things that would just actively impede or prevent your progress. I'm thinking like the old Sierra games. Like King's Quest and um, Escape from Mickey Island, like those type of old adventure games. But I thought I murdered you. He's been replaced. But this game doesn't have that. This game doesn't even do that at all. Which I really like. Huh.
back over here. There's nothing going on. Check down here again. Nothing in that tunnel. Nothing up there. We have to go up here. Because we got the, the elevator ball thing flipped around the side. Which I would like to go back to the beginning. Because I think that's where we next need to be. But unless I missed a really obvious tunnel or something, I don't have any way back there. This leads here, but this door's closed. There's no way to move it, right? Or to move anything else. Oh! Oh, there's three... Okay, I see what happened here. <laughs> there's... There's like three interactables. I probably just looked at one, didn't hit it, and then just moved on. Okay, that's me. That's that's that's, that's just me being dumb for sure. Yeah, because this one can't interact with that one. Can't interact with that one. I can only interact with the left one, and I probably didn't interact and did not interact with it. Fair enough. That's on me being kind of silly. Don't move. Come on, stop. Why did it be like this? Let me in. Knock, knock. Hello. Hello, I'm gonna tube your fleshy bits until you get back up here. Do I want to go through or do I want to go down? Do I? Because now it's an elevator. I can't get out here. Do I have to go across? It looks like I can't go down. I do have to, in fact, just go across. Again, another opportunity for the game to waste to waste my time, which it chose not to. What? What? What do you want? Why are you so mean? I'm literally carrying you. Stop screaming and 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 pushing your hands inside of my body. A little more gratitude would be, would be appreciated. What is this? What is this? This seems uncomfortable. This seems very uncomfortable. Is this a new weapon? This looks like a new weapon. Based on the logic of this game, this looks like a new weapon. Is it like a... Alright, I don't... What does that mean? I have to reload it? Is this reloading it? No, I'm reloading my... What is happening? What is any of this happening? Okay. Okay, what did I just do? <laughs> hmm. I can't. I need my... I need a... I need... Can I... I need... I need... I need... Stop! I'm sure the other weapon I got ammunition for or whatever, but I don't know how it works. And you put me under an immediately threatening scenario with these little things that I have to deal with. With the world's worst weapon. Okay, what well if I go over here and I... Do one of these? Don't what if I do one of these? No. What if I toggle inventory, reload? So do I have to hit the? Oh, you literally just have to reload. It's not a game where it just reloads automatically for being low on ammunition. Why would it be one of those games? Okay, now I can blast you. It's just a gun, actually. It's actually just a gun. They just gave me a gun. <laughs> they gave me a fleshy, goopy, squishy gun to fight the fleshy, goopy, squishy enemies with. Disgusting. I love it. 
All right. Have I made any actual progress? <laughs> no. Oh, it appears to be some sort of puzzle. Huh. Okay. Mm. Is that anything? Do I... Okay, that links you down there. But then you're not linked. Why aren't you linked? Really? You want to be up there, but then you don't... You get to be linked down there. Hmm. Is that the, the puzzle I actually need to solve to advance? Looks like that might need to be what I need to solve to advance. Let's double check. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Anything easier for my little baby brain right now. Got the gun. We came from over here. We came from in there. It looks like that is a puzzle I need to solve. Okay, let's do this puzzle. See if I can solve this puzzle tonight. And then call it good. Okay, so we have a... Stick it in there. That activates you. You guys are both activated there, but then this activates that, but then it itself is not activated? So how do you get activated? I can only move these three things. Oh, let's try. Okay, so I push you there. Okay, I think we, we are almost there conceptually. And then you need to be pointed down. Now you're both on. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. They're just not connected. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, if I do that. Aha! No, that wasn't that hard at all. What does that give me, though? Something else that's gross and squishy and fleshy. Oh, no, it's just one of the... That's not what I thought it was. What is that? What did I use that for? Well, that's a mystery we're going to find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you mm, love the squishy, horrific endeavor of... This combination of action and puzzle uh, with an overwhelming, disgusting, fleshy... Uh, uh, a dominance uh, really gets into you makes you feel a little itchy maybe like why is everything moving and everything's so wet and squishy mostly the things that shouldn't be wet and squishy it's 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 persistent there's a persistent squishiness which is very surreal and unnatural but i am in, i find it very intriguing and engaging and if you also enjoy it please uh like comment subscribe and etc thanks for watching you have a good evening